a number of things obviously happened over the past 18 months, I'd say, that accelerated the quote unquote adoption. I'm going to break down adoption later a little bit. So the, the talk about central bank digital currency is a very unfortunate topic, uh, has increased dramatically across the world. They are specifically in China. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Stable coins have been a discussion point in, in Congress and the United States at large. Wildly, we're going to talk about that. Institutional adoption has increased and um, COVID has shown that we're sitting on a lot of legacy debt in terms of technologies. And we're gonna talk about that a lot. So all of these forces that we are seeing here have really honed in on the fact why we need decentralized software solutions with blockchains being the most visible one today. Big picture. So we came from an area where we facilitated real world economic activity using paper-based solutions. You remember the days where maybe you had a typewriter, you had file folders, things of that nature, and companies that dominated the S&P 500 at the time were companies like Walmart, New York Times, Wells, Wells Fargo, and so forth. Um, then we introduced the internet and ultimately the World Wide Web, and we saw the emergence of companies like Facebook, Amazon, PayPal, Netflix, and Google. So now, and we had this discussion in the pre-roll, if you will, that we're throwing these terms out like blockchains and, and Web 3.0. I'm using them simply because they are popular vernacular. They're mostly useless terms, um, but the important thing to realize is really the paradigm shift between these three buckets being we came from a pre-digital world, then we moved into a world where database solutions and client server systems uh, started to emerge. And a big um, point of warning here, databases were never meant to be attached to network technologies. And a lot of what we're going to talk about is the disconnect between databases and networks. So blockchains at large, Web3 solutions at large, solve for most of the problems they were introduced with Web 1.0 and Web 2.0. And we're gonna break down the actual damages from those technologies in further slides.